Make sure you eat some of them by yourself before your kids come back from school, otherwise you won't get a chance. Mm. Hello everyone, it's Oksana and welcome to my vintage kitchen. I know every mother who is watching me now will agree with me that to find what to put in a kid's lunchbox is a very, very annoying thing. So, if you're struggling with your kids' lunches, let's make this very fast, <clears throat> very easy hot dog muffins. I don't know any child who would say no to this. We start from melting our butter in microwave for about one minute. Depends on your microwave, it should be fine. While our butter is melting, we start with the dough. We start by stirring together dry ingredients, cornmeal and regular flour. Add half a teaspoon of soda with a pinch of salt and we mix it slightly so we have our dry ingredient in a big bowl now when our dry ingredients are ready we take his brush we butter with the same butter we butter a little bit our muffins Two eggs, we whisk it a little. Now we can add kefir or yogurt. I use kefir, it's three point twenty five percent. You can use yogurt if you don't have kefir in your stores. Again, we mix it. Okay, we add sugar. That's it. Now we're adding our liquid ingredients to our dry ingredients. We mix it until it's fully incorporated. That's it. What we do now? With a spoon, we put our dough in our muffin pan. Don't fill it until it, the end, it should be like three quarter. Okay, what we do now, very easy step. You take your hot dog, you cut it for about five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And you just press your hot dog inside your dog. If you wanna make it nicely, you can only use the ends of hot dog, but then again, what you do with the rest of it, right? So. We're not gonna waste food. That's it, it was literally like 10 minutes preparation. You have 12 muffins, 
You can refrigerate them and just warm them up before you eat it. Okay guys, it's ready, it's beautiful. It took like 20, 25 minutes in the oven, 25 minutes in the oven, I would say. I let them cool a little bit, so let's pull them out from the pan and try them, how good they are. Do it slowly, go around. If you feel like they don't come out right away, you slowly go around, try not to scratch your pan. Here we go, oh, these are cute. Let's try them. Very good. So soft, so moist. Here. Don't scratch my kitchen. Here. So soft, so moist. Smells amazing. Make sure you eat some of them by yourself before your kids come back from school, otherwise, you won't get a chance. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to press the like.